Hello out there, we're on the air, it's hockey night tonight. Tension grows, the whistle blows, and the puck goes down the ice. The goalie jumps and the players bump and the fans all go insane. Someone roars, Bobby scores at the good old hockey game. Oh, the good old hockey game is the best game you can name. And the best game you can name is the good old hockey game. Oh, the good old hockey game is the best game you can name. And the best game you can name is the good old hockey game. Hello out there, we're on the air. It's the Hockey Happy Hour, game two. Well, game two of the night, game two of the series. The Shikatimi Fire Brigade made themselves known to the Red Deer Red Deer with a nine to three victory in game one just yesterday. Here we have game two. Can the Red Deer, Red Deer get past the mental hurdle of such a third period breakdown? Steve Pucksang back behind the net. They put their faith in Pucksang. Philippe Petlanier in goal for Shikatini, of course. Again, uh, two top five goalies as far as the league is concerned. It's William Plant trying to get in there. Pucksang way out of his crease. And uh, luckily for the Red Deer, Luis Quintal, is there to clean it up. Here's Stan Thiel, right in front of his own goal. And Gauguet is bothered in the neutral zone. Gets it over to Philly and Plant, trying to feed it into Gauguet. Shot! Oh! First real chance of the game. And the Fur Brigade take the lead. It's Glenn Gauguet yet again. Billion Plant with the feed. And the Fur Brigade are back in business yet again. Baguette had two goals last in the last uh, game. And they come right out the bat, right out the box, with a massive, massive goal to get things started and get this crowd back on their feet. But right again, and here's the red deer, red deer, just camping out in the Shikatimi zone, trying to get it to backhands it, and Pelanier deflects it. High and wide, and it takes all the way down to the boards. The Bevino puts it in. Froskins cross ice to Bevino score! And right back in it are the Red Deer, Red Deer. A great bit of pressure put on the Shikatimi defense. Dennis De Bevino gets the goal. He had nine in the regular season. That is a huge, huge response for the away side. We're tied up four minutes into this, five minutes into this game. One goal apiece. And teams that are fairly stingy and uh, high scoring. Well, something's got to give one way or the other. Puck angle, will hang on to that one. Slide it out to Harvinier. There's Perrault, Harvinier goes across the blue line. Taking his time on that one for the uh, Red Deer and trying to fit it in. Cannot do it. And it's Kramler. 
who cannot keep it in, gives it up, and here comes Steve Baloney for the Shikatimi Fur Brigade. It's a jumbo at the near ice. Hit down by uh, the boards there, and coming back out with it is number 14, which is Emmanuel Perrault. Perrault trying to slide in, trying to go near post on. Pet Lanier cannot do it. And coming back with it is Benoit Poufoulet. Poufoulet up to Jack Key. Key over to Carbon. Carbon sends it into Key. Tries to slide it past Puck Sang on his right pad, but he gets the skate there and carries it free. He's playing the Rock of X to center it to place. Tries to go high. And it goes over the post and ends up back into Pet Lanier's glove. He will stop play. Back and forth action in this game. Can't really say who that's going to favor. Uh, Chikatimi in game one were very much the up and down the ice and uh, you know making a big offensive stop coming back and scoring. Uh, but again, they had nine opportunities to do that uh, in the game versus Rangers three. So again, this is a way both teams have very much played. They're coming back down to Glen Gauke. He's already got the goal today and he's dispossessed by Konovac. who will take it back up the ice for the Red Deer. He's got help from himself in uh, Luis Quintel who takes a tumble and slides all the way down. Now they'll keep it in play. And the Fur Brigade will chase it back down. In the neutral zone, here's Leclerc. Leclerc to go get the goal scorer. Tries to get it in. Puck sang. Has to go between his legs. Put the glove down onto it. And with the stick, he plays it back out. Across the center ice is Alex Kogelby. Top line up again for the Red Deer. Konovac and Gloria, the defensive pairing as well with the top line. That's going to squirt past back the blue line into neutral ice here. Steve Menchensky. Getting it back, and Cam Durier will hang on to a Quintal. Only one pass in the blue line. A, lot of, a, lot of, a big wall pass. Shot, and it scores! Minchensky! Well, it didn't look like he got all of it. But he got enough of it. And Pentlanier, I think, mis, uh, misjudged. I definitely want to see a, a replay of that one. He takes the shot. I don't know if it took a deflection. I can't see from that first shot. But the Red Deer have the lead. Nah, it just floated up there. And I think Petlanier was expecting it to be more of a rocket. It ended up floating a bit higher. Over his shoulder and into the top corner of the net. Minchensky with the goal. Steve Minchensky has had one in the, uh, in the first game. This is his second goal of the playoffs. The assist going to Rick Froskins and Luis Quintal. Froskins his first playoff assist. Quintal his second. He had one in the first game. And that top line has already shown they have the firepower. Uh, Quintal fourth in the regular season in scoring. Minchensky 12th in the league in scoring. And Kogel had 15 goals for himself. That's the front three of that top line. Here's Bob Lindstone, second line up to Fredilliso. And Petlane will hang on to it. Now, the point I'm making is that the Red Deer's top line was very much silenced in game one by the Fur Brigade. They have already made themselves uh, present, loud, and clear in this Second game, Devevno is going to try to backhand it for a second goal for him, but he uh, just puts it just wide. He had a clear shot on net, too. There's Pierre Tusinius. Tusinius trying to fire it in. Two versus three battle as far as seedings go. Quebec Division and the Prairie Division champions pass off the poop leg. Tries to slide it in. Rebound and scores! Benoit poop leg. Makes it a two to two game. And the Fur Brigade answer and tie this one up again with minutes to go in the first period. It's been quite the game to watch. It's been exciting for the neutral. I, I do have to say. But I think both teams' uh, fans will be uh, biting their nails throughout this one. A uh, lot of time to play, so I wouldn't get too nervous just yet. Uh, Benoit Pukule, first goal of the playoffs. 
right, Lonnie has to sit on that one right back again. Benoit Pufle for the Shaka TV Fur Brigade. Only two regular season goals. 11 total points in the regular season. Uh, not, not a likely goal scorer, but uh, you know in the playoffs you find your heroes where you can. Bruchet's shot is just wide off the faceoff. And here come the Fur Brigade get a game. And it is Leclerc. We can always back around this possessed by Harvey, who will take it back the rest of the way behind the goal and up to Duncan with chance. He's got help from Craig Kramler. Finds it a one-timer score! And the Red Deer take it again. Emmanuel Parolt makes it a 3-2 game. What a one-timer that was. Half Petlania going one way. And the Red Deer, Red Deer regained the lead. The lead, Perolt, had 11 red, red, uh, regular game, a uh, regular season goals. He had a goal and an assist in game one. This is his second goal of the playoffs. And he's given the Red Deer, Red Deer a 3-2 lead in just the first period. Well, so much for these teams being stingy. I think today we're going to see that they are the top two teams as far as scoring goes in the entire league in the regular season in 34 games. On average, both teams scored 4.5 to 4.3 goals per game. Top two teams. And we're seeing that today. Here's Fillion Plant, and he is just stoned by the Red Bull defense. Get shot, cannot get it off. Here's Mikkel Konovac. Up ice, he's got help. He's got help from, uh, from La Chance. Uh, trying to get it in his Quintal. That's what we're going to have. A penalty coming up against the Shikatini Fur Brigade. That'll go into the second period, it appears. First penalty of the game goes against Benoit Pukule. For interference. <clears throat> yeah, interference is such a, it's such a big penalty. I don't, I don't understand it. I, I don't understand uh, what it means. What are you interfering with? If you're playing hockey. You're not interfering with something else. If you're playing hockey, it's not a good hit. Anyway, Santito tries to feed it in to Peter Carbon. He had a hard angle to shoot it at. And uh, I don't even know if he got the shot off. It was a, uh, a great a great push forward. Upsize the call with 112 to go. Six seconds to go in the first period, so the Shikatimi Fur Brigade will go on the penalty kill to start the second period. And uh, unless uh, the Red Deer can get a goal in the final six seconds, he'll have a minute and six in the second period. On the power play to start things off. Kevin Schillett clears it out after a one faceoff for the Fur Brigade. And that will do it. No shots to complete the, second, uh, the first period. But my goodness, we had a lot of goals to talk about. Whew. Catch your breath, fans. We'll be back in just a few moments with the second period. Five goals in 20 minutes so far. Who knows what the next 40 will, will, will give us. It's Chikatimi down to Red Deer, 3-2 to two in game two. Red Deer trying to tie the series up. We'll be back on the second period after this.
Back with you to the second period of action. Five goals in the first period, the first 20 minutes. What will the second period bring us? The Red Deer, Red Deer. Start the period on the power play. And Shikatimi will take it all the way down. Try to kill a little bit of the remaining minute and six seconds on the power play to start the period. Here's Lidenstone, tries to squirt his way in. And the puck just sort of trickles away. Pintal all by himself, trying to feed it in. And Petlanie has to just hang on to it. Nine seconds to go in the power play. And he sits on it for a face-off. The Red Deer, Red Deer. Uh, try to tie this series up. They lost yesterday's game 9-3 against the Chikatimi Fur Brigade. This is game two, of course, of the best of seven series. The semifinals, the two and three seeds. As this four-team playoff has just kicked off yesterday. And cleared out all one more time by the Fur Brigade. Peter Carbon being a pretty aggressive forechecker on the, on the Red Deer, but ultimately he gets cleared back out, and here comes Parolt. Big shot by Klain LaRocamex. And it is stopped by Petlanier Dillasso with a shot. And the team in the All Maroon. Get it back down the ice. Here's Gauguet, he had the goal earlier today and he gets hammered on the way in. And passed back out to Landulker Linson. Trying to put it over past the center ice. Eve Leclerc takes a big hit from Rex Dillasou. And there's Clayton LaRocamex cleaning it up back to Dillasou, crossing the blue line, and he is has it taken away from him by Bruce Landulker. All on this Philly and plant. He takes a big hit before he crosses the blue line by Alex Colgoby and just sort of throws his buddy right at him. There's Steve Minchensky, that top line back out there for the Red Deer, Red Deer. And coming back out is Linson. Linson been very, rather quiet today. After having, uh, he had one assist in yesterday's game. He's been kind of quiet in these playoffs. He's been a very loud member of the Fur Brigade this season. And big shot, Linson's shot is just stuffed. Esavesi gets it back to him. Esavesi feeds it back and he can't even get the shot off. And he uh, ends up taking a tumble right into the boards. Red Deer really aggressive in their own zone. Just throwing their bodies at any sort of thing in red. Or maroon, Minchensky trying to get the shot off and Belmont Pupilay throws it back up to the center right, neutral ice. Well, a bit of a, a bit of a jumble going on down there, about four bodies on the ice at the same time, but you know, part of the course here in the CSPHLC. And all the way back down and behind the net. Trying to touch it up, and here's Cloutier, he's got it back. He's getting uh, Four, four players uh, fighting for that puck and just sort of uh, getting their shots in when they can. Rick Lace has all the way back up. He's got help from LaRock. Max finds Colt the lock. Tries to put it, puts it wide. And back out to central, center ice. It's Jack Key. He's got help from Reddy, but Reddy ends up chasing it back behind the goal. Has it behind the net yet again. Back out to the point. Peter Carbon shot, takes a deflection off of, uh, well that looked like it was off of uh, Konovac, who was uh, done on the ice. This looks like a chance to score, and wow, what an important interception by Jack Key. Uh, given away by Lanko to Bevano. Lindstone tries to put it past. Big save with the pad, big stop by the pads of Pet Lanier. And he'll hang on to it to slow things down. 8.39 to go in the second period. No score in this period so far, three to two. By, uh, the uh, score from the first period. 
not for lack of chances, not for lack of uh, action. It's been a an aggressive, a physical second period. They saw it to be cleared out by the Ferber game, but here come the Red Deer yet again. To Bevino, across the blue line. Pass up from Connor back. He hits the post! There's sort of a nervous energy here in Saguenay, at Quebec. As the Fur Brigade feels so many chances to have gone in the way of the away side where they could easily have made this lead more than just one goal. Puck saying it's going to hang on to that one and he gets rid of it. And it's the Bevino. Has a goal today. Bumps it back out. There's a chance getting hit. Ends up staying, keeps the puck and has it. And he scores! Well, that is just a fantastic example of staying with the play, staying with the puck, just keeping keeping with it. He took the hit at the blue line, kept possession of the puck, skated his way in, and gets the unassisted goal. Duncan LaChance puts the Red Deer up by two. That's his first playoff goal. That is a two-goal lead for the Red Deer. Red Deer looking to try to tie up the series at one game apiece with a vital away win. Plenty of time left in this game. Just under five minutes to go in the second period. Big hit delivered by Pufale. And here's Preslin up to Esavesi. Over to Jonathan Avino. Avino tries to center. Puck Sang is right there. And he'll cradle it in his arms like a newborn babe. And for a face off. So I suppose a newborn baby would be dropped for two other players to try to hit. Off is one of these floor, they get one back. Well, there's that I heart hockey sign guy again. I don't know where that sign finds itself going, but uh, Paul Cloutier with the goal and brings the Fur Brigade back to within one. Red Deer have their top line back out there. Try to finish this period strong. Still three minutes left to go and change. And here's a big shot by, well, nice crafty shot by Tusinius. Huxang hangs on to it. You know, for as back and forth as we've been saying this game is, we don't want to ignore the, the physical aspect of it. There have been just a lot of bodies being thrown back and heavy hits being thrown at one another. It's one of the cornerstones here of the CSPHLC. You're not seeing a lot of fight. In fact, I don't believe we've seen a single fight in any of the games. But uh, don't let that fool you. Ah, oh, nice one-timer. And Cloutier's shot goes right to the glove of Puck Sang, waiting for it. I will tell you the, the the amounts of the amounts of threats and bribery that the coaching staff have to give to their own players to remind them not to fight anybody in the playoffs is so lucrative. And you can clearly see it's it's working. Big offensive uh, possession and. Uh, Stretch four, the Burr Brigade trying to get that that fourth goal to tie things up. Puck takes a bit of a bounce on its way in. 
And Dobian Lalibert might have it by himself. He's got, trying to find some help. And he skates right into the boards. Ken Reddy has it. And we'll take it back to neutralize. He'll get uh, neutralized by Rick Lace. And that'll be the end of two. Well, one goal apiece in the second period to keep the Red Deer in the lead. Red Deer, Red Deer, lead this game after two periods. Four to three over the Shikatimi Fur Brigade. Trying to tie this series up one apiece. We'll be back with the third period. Just Third period here of game two of this semifinal in the CSPHLC playoffs. The Canadian Semi-Professional Hockey League of Canada has whittled their field of 16 teams down to four. Eventually be two and eventually will crown one champion that will raise the vaunted trophy. And big shot coming in and cleared out. Fur Brigade have all their fans on their feet. They've got the energy of this home crowd to try to get win number two. I mean, it's really as simple as that. It takes eight wins in the playoffs to lift that trophy this year. Oh, cross ice pass to Thiedel. He takes him and scores! Van Thiedel, the captain, does it for the Fur Brigade and listen to this home crowd make noise. We were saying how they were all on their feet. We were saying they were getting energetic. They felt they could back their team. They have just done it and the energy in this place as they have tied it up is massive. Van Thiedel the captain of the Shikatimi Fur Brigade. Two assists in game one. He's got a goal today. The assist going to Julian Plant and Glenn Gauguet. So Gauguet has a goal and an assist today. Plant, that's his second assist. Thiedel has a goal and assist today as well. And they've been uh, they've been doing that sort of thing. Thiedel's never really, only two regular season goals in the 34 games. So very surprising there. But he put it away like he was a pro. Scoring 20 in a season. Gauguet and Plant had uh, 18 and 19 respectively assists in the season. So they were, uh, again, that first line by Shikatimi have been so strong. And taking it back behind his own net is Thiedel again. The scorer, the scorer of the tying goal. He tries to feed it out to center ice and Froskins gets just bumped and falls down. Head first into the boards. There's Tusenius again, cross ice pass to Bruce Landulker, and up come the Fur Brigade. Cloutier's there, he's got support. And Bologna, and he scores! Paul Cloutier! Oh no, it was Bruce Landulker! I thought Cloutier took it himself, I didn't see the feed. And what a, oh, that'll do it. Oh, he took the shot. Landulker was right there to redirect it in. And what a turn of events here in the third period. The Shikatimi Fur Brigade have taken the lead in the third period. The current winning goal goes 
Number 47, Bruce Landulker. Landulker only had three regular season goals. That's his second, his first goal is second assist, uh, second point of the playoffs. He had an assist in game one. And boy, was that at the right time. He needed him the most. Blanco loses it behind the net. Landulker is there to recover. Cloutier, that goal scoring line is back out there. The Fur Brigade now have a slender one goal lead to defend with just under 13 minutes to go. And for the Red Deer, Red Deer, they gotta be holding their heads in their hands, saying, oh no, not again in the third period. Uh, they didn't necessarily have the lead yesterday, but the third period was right when things went from bad to worse for them. And they ended up just leaking goals in. The Red Deer trying to fight it way back in and Petlanier stops the shot. The shot came from Emmanuel Perrault. And what is going through the mind of Steve Huxang after letting in nine goals yesterday? Lead is now back in favor of the home side in Maroon. And with a home crowd making this much noise, it's gonna be that much tougher. They're gonna feed off this crowd's energy. And uh, I tell you, a Quebecois crowd is certainly something to, uh, to have to uh, fight against. And oh, well, the Quintal tries to just slide it in, redirect it in. I think the, uh, the pass came from Kogeldy. And back come the Fur Brigade. Leclerc takes a big hit from Konovac. Cross ice pass to Steve Minchensky, and here's that top line again from uh, Kintal's shot on the one timer from Minchensky is wide. Hits the boards, and Konovac back through twice. Here's Larakamex. Line change coming out for the Red Deer, but Minchensky loses it. And there's Jackie trying to take it all alone. Puck Sang stops him. Dispossessed is Pupile. Another shot, and Puck Sang, I think, just kind of lets it direct, redirect it high and over the over his uh, net and wide. Here's Minchensky. Back to central ice. Jack Key has it yet again. And uh, Pupile over to Ken Reddy. Reddy centers it to Carbon. Carbon's shot was a little too uh, telegraphed, and Steve Puck Sang was able to follow it and put his body right in front of it. Pulls it down for a face-off with 7-11 to go. It's Quebec Claw crowd, the, the two seed, the Chicatini Fur Brigade, winners of the Quebec division. 22 regular season wins out of 34. Eight losses, four overtime losses. <clears throat> They're currently riding a seven game winning streak, having finished the season winning six in a row. And uh, winning game one, of course, oh, big shot by Lindenstone, but it goes wide, and here's Avino. Has a little bit of help, but not much. He's getting some support. It's Linson at the far post, but he can't give it. Feeds it back to Linson, who takes it to the goal line, and gets hit for his troubles. Here's Rex Dillisu, and chasing back down is Rick Li uh, is Shellett. Hmm, good defensive play by there, and uh, Van Thiedel is just helping with the double team. And Puck is still, uh, well, it was loose for a second, but Thiedel able to get it back out into neutral zone. Randy Acevesi, 4.40 to go. The Fur Brigade trying to protect their lead, maybe get another one, put this game to bed. Linson to Acevesi, tries to fire it near post, but it goes wide of the net. And it comes the Red Deer yet again. Line change coming up, it's two on two for DeBevino. He's got help from Kogelby at the far post, gives it. Oh, hits the post! I think it was DeBevino's shot that hit the post. And the top line back out there for the Red Deer, Red Deer. And Cloutier gets dispossessed by Durier, and here comes Hogelby up to Quintal. Quintal has, well, I think he has Minchensky at the far end. He's also got help from Konovac. Konovac shot right to Petlanier. He'll put the glove up for it. And Cradle in his glove. And with a little kiss. And stop the clock for the faceoff. Well, hockey fans, the uh, series continues in Red Deer, Alberta tomorrow. 
and Saturday with games three and four. Uh, if the Sikatini Fur Brigade could win it, win this game. Oh, they get a score, they get another goal. They score, it's Steve Baloney. Well, yet again, the goals just start leaking in. In the third period, under two minutes to go, Steve Baloney puts it in. And the Fur Brigade take a two goal lead and very likely game two and a two nothing lead into a two game stretch over in Red Deer. Uh, again, we will not be live with the, uh, <clears throat> those games of course will be broadcast to uh, the CSPHLC YouTube channel. Uh, they will be broadcast with our commentary of course from me, Wade Gordon, uh, calling those act that action. Well, we hope to see you uh, there, and uh, we hope to have you check us out uh, over on the YouTube for games three and four. And the possibility, of course, that could be a clinching game is Cloutier trying to skate it by himself. Big save by Puck Sang and Lalabert gets it away. Under a minute to go, and the, well, Steve Puck Sang is out of his net. Big shot by Perrault, tries to float it in. Cannot, and the extra attacker is on. And here comes Landulker's shot and gets the empty netter. That'll put this one away for the Shikatimi Fur Brigade and their mascot, Trapper John MD. Fur Trapper John MD is leading the crowd in a rousing cheer. The Shikatimi Fur Brigade getting both wins in games one and two at home. They will try to get another game on the road tomorrow in Alberta with the trip west to Red Deer. And of course you can find that game on our YouTube channel. Seven to four after the game four unanswered goals in the third period, 30 seconds to go. The Red Deer, Red Deer have gotta be scratching their heads. They have played a perfect 40 minutes of hockey. Unfortunately, hockey is a 60 minute game. There's Ed Conovac to Kogelby. Centers it to Kintal and Petlanier comes up huge with the save. Minchensky keeps it in his own. Takes a big hit and it's dispossessed. Here's Glenn Gauguet trying to feed it to Philly and Plant. Leclerc all by himself gets a hit from Conovac. And a nice jumble in the corner as the time will expire. And this Quebecois crowd is on their feet knowing they are two games away from the championship finals of the CSPHLC. Philippe Petlanier came up huge, but it was the goal scoring prowess of the Chicatini Fur Brigade. And as is customary, they will attempt to break through the glass and try to fight members of the crowd uh, in celebration. Couldn't break through this time. Let's free a reinforced boys. Try again next time. Well, do check out the YouTube channel for games three and four, which will be uploaded directly to them as they happen on Friday and Saturday. We'll see you again next week for the Hockey, hockey Happy Hour. I'm Wade Gordon from the Hamilton, Ontario, Ontario Studios saying, hey, let's do that hockey again sometime, eh? See you next week.